these are lily buds to sort of complement the other lilies. Um, you don't want to do all lilies because they'd be quite hard if you were doing a cupcake bouquet to load 12 of those into there. So if you sort of change it up a bit by adding these buds, it makes it again look more realistic and you've got the height. So remember when I'm doing my bouquets, you need height, texture, statement flowers and intricacy. So these would be your height. So for this, you need a 1A, the round nozzle a 113 which is a slightly different leaf shape nozzle now if you haven't got this and you can't get it you could again use the 366 so you can either use this one or this one doesn't matter whichever one you've got so to begin with I use olive green as always you know I always use olive green and you're making three mounds. So make sure you make contact with the cupcake. Remember flat ice first, always, always flat ice first. And make yourself a good mound. Don't do this too quick, you need this to be stable. Another one here. As you can see, I'm slightly going off the side with them. And then one here. So you've got three there. So you've got three mounds. Then you take your 113 or your 366, whichever you're using. I've lined this bag with um, sugar in pink soda. So again, I've used neat colour. When I say neat, I mean I've literally squirted it from the bottle into the piping bag. Rub the piping bag together, then you add your white buttercream. And it gives that lovely sort of rippled effect, almost like raspberry ripple. So again, lily buds don't always, they're not always green, are they? They sometimes have the colour of the actual flower inside them. So you pick your cupcake up. Now this nozzle, you want to keep it flat like that. So we're going here. As you can see, I'm not angling it. It's flat in line with this. So we're going from here to here. So a good squeeze. Come off when you get to the top. Now you will need to keep stopping and wiping your nozzle with this one, because this nozzle's, I don't use it for anything else other than this, because it's it never breaks off to a nice leaf, but obviously we don't need it to with this. We're not trying to make leaves, we're making the base of the um, the buds. Try and move that over a little bit. Go up again, go to the next side, side of it. Come off. Stop, wipe your bag. Sometimes you need to sort of tuck it round a bit, because obviously it sticks out. But again, like I said, you can use a 366. You don't have to use this nozzle. Tuck it in a bit. Like so. Now I know it doesn't look like a bud now, but we let that set for a few minutes. And then you can pinch it together so it makes that lovely sort of bud shape like that. So it comes up together. So ignore that one now, go to the next one, then we'll come back and do it. So wipe your nozzle. Like I said, you can use the 366. I just found it a bit fat using the 366. The petals were too fat. This is why I love doing this with the bag. Look how different that is to that. You'll get a different colour on each one and that's what makes them look realistic. Be careful when you're doing this though because obviously these can tip over sometimes but you can pick them up so don't worry about it. And if you want them to be really solid, once you've piped these green, you could pop them in the freezer to completely set, then you know you've got three solid bases. So I don't count doing this, I'll just do it till I get to the, to the end. Right, so, so that's the second one. Try and make sure your hands are always clean, so otherwise you can end up touching the petal if you've got dirty hands. That's why I always have wet wipes to hand. Stop and tighten your bag. Remember, that in line, your little finger in line with the end of the nozzle, that's the perfect amount. Pick it up and do the last one. Tuck right in. Come off. Move it over a little bit. Two. Even though I'm saying two, you don't need to count. It's just what I do. You'll just get in as many as you can to cover up the green. 
as you can see I'm facing it towards me not away from me so there are your three buds now well, that was the first one wasn't it so you can use because your hands are clean obviously make sure your hands are clean just tuck them all around just use the back of your finger don't press too hard because you'll end up ruining the buttercream see it makes like a bud shape I did try it with the 366 I just didn't like the effect it gave so that's why I, I quite like this nozzle and it's a good way to use the nozzle because I don't find it's any use for anything else quite honestly it doesn't make a nice leaf my third one let's tuck them over so as long as your hands are clean this is fine you can use gloves if you prefer but our hands are clean aren't they anyway when you're piping flowers so there are your three buds so now obviously we need to add the greenery <coughs> Now you can add some leaves with a 352. Now you don't have to try and cover all the cupcake case if you don't want to. So I'll put some leaves there. You could do some little mounds if you wanted to. You don't always have to do leaves. Let's do some pointy mounds. Where have you got a bigger gap? Or if you can end up having just loads of leaves you could use a number five or something like that to do some greenery just change it up a bit don't try and use the same colors all the time this makes it look different doesn't it by doing different things different shades but all of this is pro gel olive green even though it looks different this is the same color you can either just add more buttercream or whitener if you've got whitener. I use Wilton whitener. Go back to the leaves, pop some in. Remember with the leaves, it's good squeeze, lift, come off. Last one in there. There you go, there are your lily buds.